Hey everyone, it's me, the Lucky Pete Reviewer, and this is a bit of a different video. I know it's been a while, and I know it's been, like, this is an all video to come back on. Don't worry. I ha I will do be doing a fake news update as well as a t discussion on the CCC event, because I originally did a video on it, but I probably deleted it soon after because I wasn't really satisfied with what I with what what I had. So figured I would redo it now that I know. I will always have an idea of how, of why I'm disappointed about the event. And yes, I am disappointed about the Fade Extra CCC event. And I'll but well, that'll be that that's a that's another step for another video. Today we're talking about heroes because. Let's just say I'm not entirely happy with the game, and not entirely happy with the people who support it. Because, in the next update that's coming up, they're introduced- it's another bridal stuff, which okay, that's fine. But, from the looks of things, aside from one character, Sasa Fiorm, we are getting four units that we have not actually have in the game. And they all are basically, because I'm pretty sure Tannis and C Sigurd are both flyers, so... There you go, you got Pen as a mage, which, uh, but he's a horseback, so, but whatever. And then you got Luis, who's a bowman, but he's also on horseback, but it's whatever. And I just feel like... I just feel like... All four of these characters are basically about to just get the Charlotte treatment. Where they're just going to have these alts, and that's it. For those who aren't aware of the Charlotte treatment, it is basically when they when IS releases characters as alts, and then they never release them as the actual characters. They, they release the alts before they release the actual character. And it of course, should start off with Charlotte in year one. And ever since then, we've had a few more. We've had N N N N Noir, I think that's how you pronounce the name, I can't remember. You had Veronica, and you have the other guy. I can't really remember his name from the top of my tongue. I'm going to look him up real quick. Give me one sec, because I'm just, I'm drawing blank. When it comes to him, Bruno, Bruno, there you go. I've, no wonder that, that's, that's a weird name, no wonder I just completely forgot. But, yeah, they, and I get, like, Veronica, for Veronica and Bruno, I get it. I understand why we don't have their normal selves at the moment. Because they're char they're story lock characters, they're basically, like, story point characters, so they, they're trying to, Keep them along as much as they can before they finally release them. I get that. What I don't like, however, is when they de they decide, oh hey, let's for these char public characters who people kind of really want, let's just give them alts before we release before we give them the actual character because it's like. It's like seriously, alts could go to characters that are actually in the game. But no, instead, we're going to give alts to characters that don't even exist in the game yet. And then we're just going to say, well, there's your character. Hope you enjoy. We're just going to go back to making more characters and more, more alts for Camilla. Peace. It's kind of, it's kind of like, um, it's like, it's kind of like, um, it, it, it's kind of like a, we don't care. We're too lazy to actually make these characters actual characters. So here's alts. There you go. You have them. Now you can shut up about them. It's like, no. Not, like, not even Grand Order does this. For all the crap you can give Grand Order, it doesn't really do this. The only, the only time I'm willing to say they've done this is with, Art with Art Arturia Lancer Alter before we got Arturia Lancer herself. But that's because it was a story. That's because it's a story, and literally alters exist as opposites to to the normal selves. It's not really an all like, like like that's the thing. Even with alts, for like alts for the characters, there's a lot more effort going into it. 
Like, you, you still got your beach, you got your beach wand, you got your, like, all the certain characters and yada yada yada. I got that. But they don't just randomly make a character an alt. They don't make, make they make a character an alt before they actually have the character in the game. Because mostly because Randall knows a lot of people just prefer to have a character himself in the game. And then, when a character is popular, they give alts. You know, supply and demand. Except, you know, with heroes, they're not giving the demand of giving us the characters first. And then, going off of popularity from there, they're like... No, he's just he's just alt for them. He's the alt, and you can just treat them like they're they're the actual characters. Meanwhile, Camilla gets her her fifteenth alt. It's it's kind of freaking mind boggling. But of course, that's not my only issue with with heroes. It's one major issue, and I'm kind of like again, it wouldn't be bad, but this is basically year three. This is year three of heroes, and they're still doing this. They're still making this this mistake that a lot of people have told them. We don't want alts for characters that don't have alt uh, no, are in the game. Don't give us character alts because you could because rather than actually make them alts, you could just add them into the game as themselves. Because it's lazy. It's literally lazy to do this rather than just give us the actual characters. But I didn't really feel like making this video. Until I just saw this news. Oh, sorry about that. I accidentally just exited out instead of just. Hold on. And there we go. Nintendo Animal Crossing and Fire Emblem Mobile games are to be shut down in Belgium due to loot box loss. Yep. If you live in Belgium. I don't know if I have any, but if you live in Belgium, guess what? Nintendo is pulling support for the games. Rather than trying to accommodate for the new laws and try to make sure, you know, people can still play and basically still, you know, pay, like, get to use what they pay for, no! Nintendo's pulling support! It's not like, it's like, it's not even temporary, it's like they decided to just end the service in Belgium. It's not until they figure it out or they make changes. It's not a temporary thing. It's just straight up cutting kind of support for Belgian players. And it's just this should be a start. This should be like a wake up call for Nintendo fans, for Fire Emblem fans, for like just fans in general. This should be a wake up call because this is one of Nintendo's signature moments of where they they break their nice and kind facade. This is one of the times that this is one of the famous times where they break that facade. Other notable ones are when they decide to make Switch online, when they decide to go on their emulator crusades, the Nintendo's pro creator program. No those moments. Th those moments where people just don't do not like Nintendo for doing it. Because it's literally just it literally breaks the character that, that Nintendo is, just, is the supposedly good guy. And this is another one of those instances. I, I, I like, I like, I, like, I want to big bring it back up because I like how they phrased it. Due to the current unclear situation in Belgium regarding certain in-game revenue models. Nintendo, you've had a year to figure this out. This is, this is not recent news. This has been, it's been a year. You knew from this all this hap stuff happened last year. This all this stuff ha went down last year. But instead of, you know, realizing that and real and getting your your butt in motion, you basically you basically kept milking your player your to players into the point where you don't want to risk getting getting caught. But now that you're starting to risk getting caught, you figure, okay, now we're going to pull out support. And basically make all these people who paid, mo who, who's put money in these games, basically just, you know, hate us for it. But, oh, well, we made our money. We don't care. And it's like, would have been that hard. Again, I'm still in development for games. I don't really know. But considering they have had a year to do this, would have been really that hard to literally make a separate thing for instance of Final Heroes for Belgium. 
remove, remove the freaking game, the gotcha system, and then implement a buy system, so that way you won't have to worry about it, considering you've had like a full year to do that. It gets, it gets the impression that Nintendo is literally greedy. It literally gives that impression that's something I've been preaching for ever since I my eyes more or less wrote, opened up with Nintendo Switch. And that's something I'm going to continue to preach because, honestly, this kind of stuff shouldn't be, a, shouldn't be freaking just, oh, uh, well, it's okay, Nintendo. It's not your fault. No, it is their fault. The law shouldn't be freaking, Nintendo, the law, blah, excuse me. The law shouldn't have to go about go around what Nintendo wants. Nintendo has to do go around with what the law says. And in Belgium, the law says, it's not even that, they, they, it's not like they're gonna threaten anything, it's like, they're just doing it because, well, we're not sure and we don't want to get in trouble, so rather than, you know, we're be, we, uh, rather than, you know, trying to take, rather than, you know, fix, fix it, basically, since the year we, since, you know, we've had a year to do this, we're just going to cut, cut support because we don't want to risk getting in trouble. Even though, you know, we've had a year to remove these systems, overhaul these systems to a block to basically be legal under Belgium rules. But no, we're not, we, we basically just been pulling you guys for a trip and now in August we're basically pulling support, so yeah. Thanks for thanks for your money, Belgium players. Thanks for your money. We're just gonna take this and go. Have fun with your nothing. Seriously, it's Nintendo's a mess. Like I don't think anyone should freaking realize that Nintendo is a mess. I mean, like they have they have their moments. They like they're good. They're good at making sure that that's their view. That their view that's the good guys. They're good. But then you got moments like this where they just slip up. And it shocks me that not more people get on them for it. And sure, it's, it's, cool. it's, sure, it's like the idea of, of, well, they do more good than harm, so what's the point? It's like, I'd rather them do all good and no harm than more good than harm. I'd rather them not freak up and make mistakes like Fire Emblem Heroes and Animal Crossing and this Belgium stuff. Switch Online... MLAX Crusades, yada yada yada. I'd rather them, you know, not make those mistakes, period, than have them make mistakes, but be like, oh, well, it's okay. We all make mistakes. That's all. It's fine. It's like, no. Get on them. Get on them for making these mistakes. Because it's like, in this instance, Nintendo has had a full year to understand that their their regulate their, their in-game models might not be suitable for Belgium laws, and rather than you know change it, they've done nothing. And now because now that they, that they don't they're worried about getting in trouble, they're like, okay, we're gonna pull support. It's like, oh, so now because they don't worry about getting in trouble and worry about dealing with fines, you're gonna pull out, but you won't worry about it when the, the these laws started becoming in effect a year ago. Kind of gives you a mentality that Nintendo really doesn't care for so long as, so long as it's not a major market. Which, you know, that might that might be changing if if the U.S. ends up passing that regulate that loot box law that that working up that that they basically been worked up in Parliament and stuff. Like that might change. Nintendo might have to change it. If not, they will be literally. Flat. They would basically be removing support for a game, for a game, for Heroes and Animal Crossing from a major freaking country. Like they would be losing thousands, if not millions, a year if they have to if they have to pull out Heroes and Animal Crossing from these countries, from the U.S. If that if it if that loot box does law does go into effect, and Heroes and Animal Crossing ends up being being illegal under the, those laws, then yeah, Nintendo's gonna have a problem. Nintendo's gonna have a problem. And I seriously doubt they're gonna, like, like it would be stupid for them just to, to do like they would to do what they do with Bel Belgium, and I doubt that's what we're gonna get if that does happen. 
they're probably just going to alter the game to where it's loot and it's no gotcha system. And it's going to be like, well, why didn't you just do it for Belgium then? And the answer is, of course, it's going to be money. Because Nintendo didn't want to put the money in to basically help this one country and its players. No, they, they'll do it when the U.S. when the U.S. basically drops support, when they have to, where the, the alternative is dropping support for heroes in, in the U.S. But they won't do it for Belgium. And it's kind of freaking stupid. And it kind of, it kind of defeats the whole, we're, we're, the, we're trying to be the best we can for Nintendo. Anyways, again, I just wanted to get this rant off my chest because uh, it just bugs me so much how people can just continue supporting Nintendo whenever, when they do stuff like this. Or support heroes when they do the freaking Charlotte Syndrome characters that are just going to be alt forever and never going to have actual character, actual selves in the game. Ticks me off. Ticks me off because it's literally just, because people just continue to just act like Nintendo's a good guy. When... All point, all evidence point, points to the fact that they're not. Anyways, I'm gonna get off. I got, yeah, I got two more videos I gotta make. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.